everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com. And in this video, we're going to explain whether or not low power mode actually saves iPhone battery life. And the truth is that it does, but not in the most efficient ways. Yes, this is not something that you should wake up, roll out of bed and turn on every single day, or at least have to. If you are having that serious of a battery life problem, check out our battery video. Yep, we'll that'll help you. Yep, card description. Yep. Let's talk about what low power mode actually does before we go any farther. So this is on Apple's website. They know what they're talking about. I hope so. Yeah, low power mode reduces or affects these features. Email fetch, hey Siri, everything's gonna go off in the house right now. Background app refresh, automatic downloads, some visual effects, auto lock, which defaults to 30 seconds, and iCloud photos, which is temporarily paused. One big problem we have with low power mode is related to background app refresh. You do not want to turn that off for every single app on your iPhone. No, if you use sports apps, for instance, you're probably gonna to want to know what the score is and have those stay up to date. It's kind of just turning off all of these great features completely when the problem should be addressed at an individual level, and you could do that. Yep. Hey, S-I-R-I, -I, we don't want to set off everything in the house. Right. Uh, we like that feature, and I'm not really sure how much battery life you save by turning that off necessarily. Not a lot. Yeah. I remember when they came out with that feature, when it was always listening. Nobody ever thought that was creepy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, email fetch, we recommend switching your mail from push to fetch anyway, yep. so I will show you how to do that in this video. It's one of our favorite iPhone battery tips. Visual effects, auto lock, iCloud photos, automatic downloads, you know, fine, you'll save some battery life, nothing yeah, too crazy. Yeah, it's, it's kind of vague. As soon as you get into that part of this list, yeah. it reduces or affects these features, some visual, you know. Yeah. It'd be nice if they told us, but we think we know what they're doing. Yes. Yeah, so first, let's just show them how to turn on low power mode. Good idea. Uh, I'm gonna open up the settings app, scroll down to battery, tap on low power mode. There you go, your battery icon turns yellow. We had a lot of people have a question about that. They don't know what's going on. Yep. And then your uh, low power mode will turn off automatically once you reach 80% battery life. Which people who are addicted to low power mode find very annoying because <laughs> they wake up every day and they have to go and do it. Or it's in control center. So let's just show them how to add yes, it there. So go yep. back to settings. And I have a feeling that the people watching this video, a lot of you are low power mode experts. Yeah. So just keep watching because yeah. we're gonna get past this soon. Tap customize control, scroll down here, tap the plus next to low power mode. Now if I open control center on my iPhone by swiping down from the upper right hand corner of the screen, there's the battery icon. You can tell that it's on. Low power mode. Pretty neat. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to background app refresh and why you don't want to turn that off entirely. As you said, some apps you want to have download content in the background of your iPhone. Mm -hmm. What we recommend doing is going to the background app refresh menu and just turning it off for apps that don't need it and having them off all the time. Well, where is that menu, David? Well, let's go back to the main page of settings, tap on general, tap on background app refresh. Background app refresh is off because low power mode is on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off low power mode. How about that? Yeah. So as you can see, I have background app refresh on for everything right now. I wonder if that happens when you turn low power mode off again. Not maybe. sure. Maybe. So just here, any apps that you don't need downloading new content in the background of your iPhone, just tap the switch, turn it off. Uh, I usually turn off the CephQ app. I don't need yeah. background app refreshes from your my, bank? my bank. What are they going to tell you? Yeah. No. Just go through this list, uncheck the things that don't need it. Uh, pretty simple to do. Next, let's talk about fetch mail. Uh, we recommend switching from push to fetch anyway. Yeah, push mail is the default setting where your iPhone maintains this constant connection to your email server, so it's always ready to receive new messages. But with fetch, your iPhone only checks once every X number of minutes, so you decide how often your iPhone checks to see if there's new mail. It's probably one of the most common things that we recommend you do, mm -hmm. and it can save you a ton of battery life. Yep, so, so let's go back yeah. to the main page of the settings app, scroll down to passwords and accounts, Tap fetch new data, currently set to push. I'm gonna turn off that switch. And then underneath fetch here, we recommend every 15 minutes. Yeah. And you can always, you know, open the mail app and it'll fetch new mail for you. Yeah, whenever you open that. So yep. you're never really gonna notice a difference unless yep. you're just one of those people that needs to know this second that yep. they got an email. Yeah, so for more iPhone battery tips, check out our video card above, description section below. I think we have 14 tips. Mm -hmm. We just walked through two of them. There are 12 more, so. Yep, and they're all just as great. Yes. Thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. Leave us a comment down below with any other questions, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great iPhone videos.